This was an entrance they never thought would happen. Six Afghan girls, all teenagers, competing with teams from 157 countries in the first international robotics competition. They arrived in the U.S. from a country where girls could not even go to school under Taliban rule and still in many places face taboos against female education. But the Afghan team was determined. Twice they took a bus 500 miles to the U.S. Embassy in Kabul for visas. Twice they were denied with no explanation. After news stories and complaints from members of Congress, the State Department was finally overruled by a higher authority, President Trump. One, two, three whose daughter Ivanka showed up today to show her encouragement. I'm so inspired by what you've built here, what you're doing, and how you're advancing um, the role, in this case, of, of women and girls. For two days, they've been fine-tuning their robot, which can sort balls by color, separating blue from orange, a test, they say, of how machines can separate clean from contaminated water. The girls eager to prove themselves to those back home who still doubt what girls can do. Why was it important for you to be here? It's important to be here because of showing the talent and ability of Afghans. Showing the talent and the ability of yes. Afghan women? Yes, and show this that the Afghan women uh, can make robot too. With less time to prepare, the Afghan team did not win top honors, but still won a prize tonight for overcoming obstacles and for their true grit. Andrea Mitchell, NBC News, Washington. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.